Yo guys, what's going on? Rizzo here. Today we're looking at Ellie Shaman Patch 5.4. How to play it, how to gem, how to talent, how to glyph. Let's jump right into this. We're going to start with our glyphs. Glyph of Lightning Shield is a necessity because that 10%, you're always going to have it up. 10% less damage, that's gold. We're going to keep that. So Glyph of Cap Totem, this is really good because it, realistically in any situation against any decent team, if your Cap Totem's landing for whatever it is without 6 seconds, there's no way you're going to land it. Let's be real. So keep that. In my opinion, Shamanistic Rage is interchangeable with um, Ghost Wolf because Ghost Wolf you can't go under 100% um, movement speed. But however, Shamanistic Rage can serve as another trinket to get out of magic effects and remove all magic debuffs in general. So I think they're interchangeable. I think Shamanistic Rage against mages is a 100% you got to because you can just get out of deep freeze without even burning your trinket and submit it cooldown. That's really good. Let's jump right into the talents. So I choose Nature's Guardian because it's basically like, it kind of works like Guardian. Like when it procs, you are probably not going to die. You're probably going to live through that. By probably, I mean an 80% chance or so. So we're going to keep that. And for this tier, I choose Earth Crab. I, um, I think these are interchangeable. I think Windwalk would be good against a team that has a freedom. And Earth Crab, if you can work against the fact that they don't have a freedom. So I would choose between those two. And for this, I choose Totemic Persistence. They actually just changed this, this patch. So if you're getting trained that hard and you're that desperate, you could have Healing Tide and Healing Stream down at the same time for some insane damage. Or insane healing, excuse me. And Totemic Projection can, um, this is still a really good talent. I'm just not that good with it yet. I'm trying to learn how to do it. It's really good for laying those cap stones, especially if you can't root cap. So we're going to look at the fourth tier talents now. I'm not a big fan of elemental mastery, so we're going to look at these two. Ancestral Swiftness and Echo of Elements. Ancestral Swiftness, I like to use in conjunction with Ellie Blast whenever I use it, but I prefer the constant damage from Echo of Elements. So when I play Ellie, as you might see, I kind of go for the more constant damage. So that's just kind of how I like to play Ellie. And for this tier, we're going to be looking at Rushing Streams, the new talent. This used to be where Healing Tide was, and now your Healing Stream, the 30 second cooldown, heals two targets at once for 15% additional healing and that 15% is going to mean a lot and a healing stream is a really substantial ability now and for our last tier um like I said LML Blast can be used in conjunction with Ancestral Swiftness or if it's against a non-melee team you could probably just cast it anyways but I prefer the constant damage from Unleash Fury it's just an uh, another uh, buff to my Lava Burst whenever I unleash, um, unleash elements and then Lava Burst so I'm on board with that and Primal Elementalist is more bursty because that's coming out when you um, when you pop one of your elementals. So now, let's jump right into the rotation. It has not changed one bit. So if you're not playing Alley Blast, you're going to have as many Flame Shocks up as you want. Or as you can get, rather. And then you're going to Unleash Elements, Lava Burst. And your filler is going to be Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning in some situations. But Chain Lightning can make you go oom, so be careful of that. And look at, they, the procs are still crazy. So, still getting those crazy procs, and really, the burst does not take a rock scientist to figure out. It's just Ascendance. I like to use Spirit Walker's Grace so I can remain uh, mobile, and I do pop Storm Lash during my Ascendance. There's no reason not to, in my opinion. And you're just getting all these crazy procs and non-stop Lava Bursts. Okay, oh, my Flame Shock fell off. That's something that you should be um, keeping up, is Flame Shock on every single target. So, Chain Lightning and... Um, Lightning Bolt are your fillers. Let's jump right into the gems. I do have a few old pieces of gear, so disregard this malevolent and disregard this malevolent piece as well. They are, I just didn't get around to replacing them last season. So we're going to take all red sockets and throw in um, 160 intellect. And I really like this meta gem for it. 216 intellect, 3% critical effect. That's really good in my opinion. For our yellow sockets, we're going to do intellect haste. And let's get to our blue tech. I prefer Intellect Spirit for those. And you're going to get the Intellect and Critical Strike um, uh, like Enchant. And of, as you might imagine, Jade Spirit. So everything else is standard at that point. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys still continue to play Ellie Shaman in patch 5.4 as I will. Alright, see you around, guys.